The craziness begins here at Desert Storm. It looks like a jet about to take off. The, I don't know if the camera can see the, the heat coming off the rear end of that thing. Alright, we got him taken off there. Wow, what an epic week we had over here at Desert Storm. One of our followers, Lance, he hit me up and said, hey, I got a brand new cat, taking it out, come rip with us. And so we're going to go out there on the brand new 34-foot cat with the twin 450s. The thing is epic, so stay tuned for that. Oh! Kawasaki's now making DCBs. <laughs> Got the 1550 motors. Yeah, much much less power than that 2000 horse yeah. around the street that we saw. The one that you made up? Yeah. Oh, they're also making Can Ams, Kawasaki are now. With um, all of these are with full windows. Oh, wow. Is that all carbon fiber? Wow. That's a lot of carbon fiber. And that's Kawasaki seats. Kawasaki seats, too. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already hit it, hit that notification bell. Thanks guys. Guaranteed not to catch a fish with like a total combined horsepower of 8 million horsepower <laughs> idling through here. Like. <laughs> Desert Storm weekend, here we come. Lance has hit us up. He said, can't get us side by side here from Washington. Brought the fast boat. So here he is. What's up, man? Desert side by side. Glad awesome. To here. Let's go uh, take the boat out for a rip and you know. So what boat do you got again? I've got a 32 foot fountain Thundercat. Awesome. With twin 450s. So did you uh, pull it all the way down here? Or? Towed it down here from Washington, 1300 ish miles. How long did that take? Too long. <laughs> what do we got horsepower wise with this thing? Twin 450s. It'll do light load, 120. Nice. Yeah. It's 
out of these cats it's not the fastest it's a little heavier but it's very solid a little bit more stable a little bit more stable not so flighty okay i've had the lighter ones they're a little faster but where they where they save in weight they lose in hull integrity oh, okay just to be a little bit stronger yeah yeah i'll fire it up and then we'll just i just leave the fenders here how long is it again yeah i know you already told me but i'm 32 32 oh, 34 but that's with the bustle hang okay. out the back i don't count that <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna exaggerate it huh go <laughs> oh yeah they're right in there that big... yep that's it yep. got there too quick so we'll go rip so we're doing 101 right now just and it's smooth like smooth yeah like you would think doing 100 in a in a boat you'd be like a little bit nervous you know yeah but it's just like handles it it's impressive shocked how quiet it is yeah the four stroke outboards are a game changer it's all digital i mean there's no cables going to the engine that's all digital 100 percent digital the throttles are digital so they just shift that's why they're so small you don't have big shifters you gotta bang in the gear like, so what do these two do for these the are your forward neutral reverse okay these are your throttles and i have a trim button right here for my thumb okay so i just use my thumb for the trim the engines up and down these type of boats these cats are sensitive to trim Okay. These are packing air into the hull, so a little bit of trim makes it can make a big difference. Huge difference. Whether there. it's hopping or whether it's smooth, whether the hull's loose or whether it's stuck to the water, it doesn't okay. take much. Okay. Let's hit it. It's just so smooth. I love it. Got to give a big shout out to Lance for taking us out on his boat. That was a sweet boat. Good times. Weekend was crazy with the million dollar boats and all the other things going on. Now camera just does not show how cool this weekend was at all. But it was a great time out here. We had a blast.